This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake it. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah, have to be. Back home. Talk to me, Thank homie. Thank you. Back Sometimes home. you need some truth serum. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know what I mean? All the time, actually. You wouldn't, uh. you wouldn't know you were blind your entire life until you put them glasses on. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> See through that clear lens. Talk right. about it. And I say that to the audience, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. because you've been blinded. Somebody been lying to you. Mm. Uh. And that somebody is the rap game. Uh. The game of rap. Here he go. Not the culture of rap. Speak on it. Not the heart of rap. Yes, sir. Not the spirit of rap. Woo-hoo. But the game of rap has been lying on Yes. They've been lying. Mm-hmm. But there's been mm-hmm. what I want to call an innovator. <laughs> a rebel, wow. a renegade that has stepped in front of all the lies and has now officially become the sacrificial lamb. But the difference is the only sacrifices is going to be the liars because uh. it's a finally arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The one and only, the transcended one, because he transcends. We talk Ooh. about this every era, every trend, oh, man. Uh, every moment. He hasn't changed. He's been consistent since day one, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. He's a pillar in this game. The one and only Pusha T. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up, Push? That Push. intro. El What's up? Push. What up, man? That was beautiful. <laughs> hey, man, I, get I almost ex- shed a, tug, a thug tear. <laughs> <laughs> you just started seeing the tack come on his face. <laughs> <laughs> man. Uh, I got to say it, man, because it's, it's like, you know, I, in my position, I sit through it all, Pusha T. Yes, sir. I tolerate a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. I'm tired of tolerating mm. a, a lot. Yeah. It's the end of the year. I can't tolerate too much more. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a lot of guests on the show when my tolerance levels are low. Right. Because they're going to see that. I think it's you, you need to go home and practice. Yeah. Right. Okay. So when, when Pusha T comes on board. And in the midst of everything that's going on, the um, homogenized sound, the mm, look, yeah, the approach, monotony. Yeah. the monotony of yeah. everybody turning up the same when right, they're on right. stage, or <laughs> right, right, they, right. I can't tell them apart by their clothes, or they froze. Right. I can't okay. tell them apart by their voices. They okay. even rap like each other, right? <laughs> then you come on board. You ain't never went anywhere no. and remind people that innovations. Uh, come from originality and the mm-hmm. fact that you're able to tell the truth and create a sound that could ride both sides of the fence, I commend you. That's Thank a you, gift. Sir. Push a T is here. Woo! Thank you. Darkest Thank you. before dawn. Let's get into the it. prelude. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, guys. You out, to, say, out tomorrow, 1218. 1218. <laughs> y'all y'all want to say something? Please go get that. Please go get that. Yeah. Well, when I heard the title, the first thing I, I thought about, my curiosity peaked because I was like, well, what's Push's darkest hour? Before the dawn, like literally. Oh man, you know my whole my whole career has been full of uh, pitfalls, mm-hmm. um, losses, you know, losses to the to the to um, the prison system. Mm. Um, and if we want to talk musically, man, I've been I mean I've been shelved for four years at a time before. Right. Um, you know, basically coming into the, you know, even creatively, man, I came into the rap game with with my best friends. And, um, you know, even, you know, going through the label drama and stuff, like, I got separated even from them. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and you know, not that we couldn't work together, and we, we still did work together, but just that 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 housing mm. of us as a unit, right. you know, it got sort of separated. So, you know, it, it's been dark quite a few times mm-hmm. in my career. But, um, man, my brother... Right, yeah. you know my brother not being my uh my partner, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know musically, mm-hmm. um that's probably about the worst. That was the worst. That but yeah. there wasn't no animosity in that, right? Or, no, no, yeah. that was just a different just, no. just going direction. A different of yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, like you know, and and you gotta remember, like that's that's my that's my big brother. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's like, I mean, to me, I just got all rights to to you know, uh feel away right i mean you know and uh and, and just be selfish because that's what i've been all my life in regards to him just like you know that's my big brother like mm-hmm. and what i say is the little brother mm-hmm. you know he's supposed to 
<laughs> Make happen for me, and that's right. just how I go. You can relate to that. And, uh, <laughs> I got a big brother too, push. You know, T. Callaway, yeah. man, he mm-hmm. was fast as Mayweather when I was growing up. Okay, so I learned how yeah. to, I learned how to fight. But we first, took beatings, man. We took some beatings, we right? We took some like, like, beatings. beatings. Right. Yeah, y'all are resilient. <laughs> I got beat though. up every day after school. Y'all realize that? Oh, like, for what? What would y'all? Because he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's real. No, no reason. reason. No but reason. You, no, no... And don't be crying by the time my mom get home. You yeah. crazy? Yikes. Well, that What's means it's set me? it off again tomorrow. Oh. And they'll get you every time. Yeah. But they make you strong. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, nobody else could beat me up. No way. Did y'all ever get to a point? Because me and T. Cal got to a point where I got b- as big as him. And it was we had one good brawl. And then I, we never fought after that. <laughs> I ain't never took that W. No, you know, eh? nah. no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, but I was fighting I back. Ain't never <laughs> w. Um, what I admire about what's going on with you right now too is I am seeing your business savvy. Mm-hmm. You've already you always Trying. had it, but we, we didn't always see it. You right, know what I mean? Right. Uh, with the clothing line. Play clothes. Yes, sir. Which is doing really well. Play clothes, man. We in our seventh year, going wow. on mm-hmm. eight. Yeah. Can't believe it. I mm-hmm. ain't go to school for that. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm just happy. Like, I'm so happy to be here. Like, we be having, you know, we have really good years. Sometimes, you know, the years ain't so good. But, man, just the fact that I'm still in it fighting, mm-hmm. you know, after almost eight years is like, man, I'm I'm, I'm blessed. How far are you trying to go with it? Is, is, did it get to the point or will it get to the point where you have some downtime or will you steal some time to maybe take a designer's course or go learn stitching or, you know, do it just like, how far are you going? no. Not no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I ain't gonna learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, you know, you did, did you learn anything from Kanye with no. having your own clothes <laughs> No, Yo, I'm not. Said, nah, I'm not. No, good. listen, like, see, this is the thing. Mm-hmm. When I when I started when I started that um, it was from the Bape era. Right. Like like you uh, know gosh, we we okay. we 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 sort of ushered in a lot that was going on in the Bape era, early two thousand. Mm-hmm. So, um. We was we were going we were going uh going through the label drama, couldn't put out no music. We put out the uh We Got It for Cheap mixtape series, right, Re-Up right, Game. Right, right. So we it was actually in New York. I came, we had a show at the knitting factory. Mm-hmm. And I got on stage and all the kids were saying like, Damn, you got on the general jacket, one of one, you know, whatever it was I had okay. on from the Bape thing. And I was like, Oh man, y'all like y'all know about this, like I don't even know about it. Yeah. Like, right. you know, they were hipping me to their to their knowledge and you know, this is like the internet wave, the the streetwear wave, it's all coming, coming together, together, together at this point. Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, we need to like take advantage because you know, these guys are paying attention. So at home, do y'all remember this brand called RP fifty five? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well that's all based in Virginia. Wow. Oh wow. Um he's that. he's from Harlem. Uh and uh Ralph, man, he he uh they 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 have a business down there. RP fifty five. They house uh, play clothes, a coup, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. schmack at one time, Azure. Ah, um, yeah. We're, uh, so we're, we're in discussions about a hat line right now. Oh, Ralph, yeah. well, let's drop a little yeah. Listen, man, right I, can, I can definitely point you out in the right direction. Yeah, yeah you already did. <laughs> yeah. I told him I knew you, so that's oh, all right. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass serious. All right, but okay, but go so, ahead. Okay. So so basically, um, you know. Though, though, th- those kids were in there working. Um, mm-hmm. Now, these are trained, you know, kids. I mean, That's, I yeah, you. they're trained. Ah. Uh-huh. So, um, okay. Okay. like, every day after work, man, they would stay after work. Um, they get off at six weeks, stay there till like, 11. And I'd bring in my clothes. I'd bring in pictures. I'd bring in, you know, wherever I was at in the world. All your inspiration. Yeah. yeah. And they, man, they like, we did this for about nine months to a year. Huh. And then they, they put together a logo, put together a line. Oh and you know Sheesh. Ralph and, 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 and his partners were wow. like yo that's it. Got it did Kanye give you any fashion cues like whether it was literally with wardrobe or with business because I think Kanye he interned at Fendi yeah yeah he definitely did for like did. the year yeah yeah yeah. he he, he jumped out there mm-hmm. he definitely jumped out there but you know no I, I feel like um, you know when me and Kanye discuss fashion and more so um, we discuss you know sneakers ah and um it's in regards to, uh, you know, he's really a designer of sneakers. Like, he really mm-hmm. 
designs his shoe. Mm-hmm. I, I got a shoe with Adidas, but mine is just more detail oriented. I don't ever want people to get it confused. Like I'm saying, like, man, I'm a, mm-hmm. right, right. you know, I'm a artist in this. You, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know what <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, you know, that ain't my thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, you know, it's just more detail oriented. <laughs> and um, more detail oriented. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, it's, it's, it's about the black market, right? Yeah, yeah the black, black market, market is the newest shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one was White Christmas. Mm-hmm. And it's just about being synonymous um, with my brand and everything I've been putting out. So, word. All right, I want to play some music and then come back and go over some of the lyrics of some of the songs that were recently yes, released. Um, tomorrow, Darkest Before Dawn, The Prelude is coming out. Push the T is here. 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning, Shade 45, Untouchable. Pusha T is here. Yes. King Push. Yes. I like when people put King in front of the names. Yeah, man. It's like you thumping your chest uh-huh. saying, test I, me. I believe that. Is there any MC out right? Just from an MC perspective, is there any MC you think, if I had to get in a round with him, he could give me an honest challenge? Who would be those MCs? <sighs> man. Um, man, I think, you know, I, I think Kendrick. I think Cole. Mm. Those guys are like super good and they meticulous. I feel like they meticulous like like me yeah. meticulous. Yeah. Like sit down and I feel like they're intelligent enough to 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 put those words together mm. and um you know, it and it not be like a dumb battle. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a uh, you know, everybody you know, had the thesaurus. Yeah, down. <laughs> like no, but it'll be like one of them things where everybody digging deep and 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 um you know, saying those things that make people, you know, think it's like a, a, a Exodus type verse. Yeah. yeah. It ain't got to be, you know, F U, da da da. It, it ain't, it got, it's going to be one of them mm-hmm. wordsmith yeah. type of joints. Yeah. What, them guys what, are dope. What, what, is that the kind of artist you're looking for what, now that you're the president of good music? Like, what what are you going to look for? Because you, not only do you need dope artists, but you need to sell music, right? So. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I, I'm always looking for um, self contained. Self-contained creatives, mm. um, lyrically, li- you know, lyric-driven mm-hmm. for sure. I mean, that's that's gonna catch me first anyway. Yeah. Like if you're trying to appeal to me, then I'm gonna be like, oh, you know, that's the way to slap me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, that of course. I mean, man, I, you know, I love a lot of what's going on in music, right? I I really do. Like I'm really outside, and I really feel like, you know, when I think about everybody who was great to me and who I loved, like growing up Mm -hmm. and then i think about their their window Mm -hmm. man their windows were sort of small to be that great yeah and i feel like it's it's because they weren't they stopped like uh you know looking like looking and 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 being in the mix and and you know not that you got to conform but you definitely always need to know what's going on yeah like you need to you can't shun it you Mm -hmm. can't shun what's new coming you can't Mm -hmm. can't do that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's a um I feel like that's why I'm able to, you know, still keep my style, tweak it yeah. a little bit, mm-hmm. do, you know, unorthodox beats and not care that 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 sort of like builds out my own lane for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's that that's my whole thing. Like everything I'm trying to do now with my career is just build my own lane and be like, man, don't nobody else really right, do that. Right, and own it. Yeah. yeah. You've done that. You know what I'm wondering? What's that? Do you have your eye on maybe signing a female MC? I was having a conversation with some guys and um, they were saying how it's probably hard having a female artist in general nowadays because the budgets get higher. You got to pay for weave. You got to have like backup dancers. eh, I mean, I don't you know, I wouldn't man. It's it's this girl online now. Like, let me tell you something. I'm like the true, true stalker (laughs) online. Okay. (laughs) Like, I'm a true Internet stalker. Like I didn't expect on Instagram. <laughs> I am. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because the, you know Instagram. Um. That's usually where it starts. Right. Yeah. And you know you press you press you press that little camera up there and then they start rhyming singing or whatever and you be like oh you know you then you at their page and so mm-hmm. on and so forth. Mm-hmm. It's you know I found so many people like that and um, you know, one in particular just yeah. recently was a girl man I believe she's from the Bronx, 
I don't want to say her name and stuff because mm. I don't. You're not really 100 percent sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he don't want nobody to sign it. Exactly. Oh, 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 come on, yeah, come on, I got man. things on business. Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah, I already know okay, what but that what about is. since you said you were a stalker? <laughs> would you yeah. ever use like remember Wiz and Amber? They got together via Instagram or via Twitter. He had sent her a DM. Would you ever like maybe holler at somebody? Oh no, I don't do that. Oh my bad. All right. No, I don't do nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. I'm, listen, I'm I'm you know the DM game and all that. That's it's not you, you can't have that much control. Mm -hmm. you, you yeah. Have me talking all crazy in the DM. The next thing you know, that joint on. Yeah, <laughs> boss yeah. up. Yeah, you <laughs> lit. We, we talking about it in a celebrity wire tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Pussy T was just here. All right, I gotta ask you about the, these lyrics, man. Uh, yes, sir. You know we do the lyrical breakdown. Okay. I don't get it. What exactly? Don't you get breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the yeah. lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the morning. Crutches, crosses, caskets. All I see is victims. My oh. young nigga sick them. I don't get them. I get. I just get back the jury if I'm fucking with them. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. I can. Yeah, go. Go ahead. Yep. Your man crush Mondays be on niggas. My skin is triple black. I'm the omen. You can't kill a god like the Romans. Uh. Take my time to craft shit because I don't like back and forth with Puff about rap shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking excited right uh -huh. now. <laughs> All right. That's the yeah. first verse. Yeah, man. I love uh, that record, that, man. That, Shout out to Puff. You can't. Yeah, yeah, what is that? I don't like back and forth with Puff about rap shit. I don't. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that he's the toughest critic in life. Uh huh. It means that, like, it don't nobody push you like him in yeah. a studio. Mm hmm. Absolutely nobody. Mm. Like, I mean, it's hard to impress him. Mm. So, like, I'm really trying, like, you know. This is my first time ever working with him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he giving you that, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, I guess. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Playboy. You know? Damn. And I'm like, I'm like rapping my heart out. Right, right. I'm like, nigga, you crazy. Yeah. And it's like, man, you know, and then he's like teaching me. He's like, man, listen, if I know. If I got an idea what you gonna say next, like that ain't the line, Playboy. Like, you know, he's shaking his shoulders and shit. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, man. Did he bopping while you Yeah, you're like talking to me and all, like, you know, down talking me. <laughs> it's Diddy though. What do you but, do? <laughs> but um, you know, and and and, and on a, on a real side of that, that answered a lot of questions, um, in regards to like things that um, when Big would would rap. Like, man, as a fan of Big, I you know, we, me and my friends be in the car listening to Big, and we stop it, you know, and be like, man, what made him say that, though? Like, mm -hmm. how you talk about the love of your daughter and shooting up the block in two bars together? Like, right. why do that? Mm -hmm. And then you, I get in with him, and he like, man, if I know what you about to say, then that ain't the right bar. And I'm huh. like, oh, so that's why he might have... Been unpredictable. Right. Hard coach. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, you know, that's what... Yeah, okay. It was just tough, but I was frustrated, man. Yeah. I was frustrated in the joint. <laughs> I don't like back and forth with Puff about rap shit. Okay, let's get the verse too. That's real. Yeah. All I see is victims. Rappers is victimized at an all-time high. But not I. You pop niggas thought I let it fly. Stop. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's stop right there. Yeah. Rappers is victimized at an all-time high. Give me an example specific of who you... Who, who you oh, talking man. About. Like... Look at it, man. You hear it all day. Mm -hmm. You hearing this all day, Sway. Mm -hmm. Like you hearing the 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 issues of like um, monetary issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know the business dealings being like you know terrible. Yeah. After you know when you sit here and watch, you know when you sitting here watching these grandiose artists thinking that they like on top of the world. You know we read the Forbes list every year like mm -hmm. everybody else. Ah, I make ah. And then you hear about, you know, people not having paper. Mm -hmm. And that's that's corny to me. Like, my biggest thing about, you know, the business of music right now is like, man, when I was coming up in this, I had to get up and I had to go to New York and, you know, try to, you know, get a meeting. Or mm -hmm. probably was lied to by a mailroom dude, you know, saying it was an A&R or something. Mm -hmm. So we drive up here. Uh, get up here. It's the mailroom dude, and and <laughs> you know, and then we trying to 
you know, he he's trying to parlay us into the into the real meeting. Right. But now it's like, man, you know, these kids is independent. They shooting their own videos. Yeah. They creating their own followings. And it's the illest thing. It's the illest thing to me. Like it's the most admirable thing in the world. And the only downfall of that is sometimes the business don't be right or people try to shortchange short change them mm-hmm. that's not that's not what i'm about like i'm mm-hmm. always trying to push people to get the business right get the business going because like man it used to be a time where you used to have to be the biggest selling artist for you know corporate america or whatever to acknowledge you that ain't the case no more yeah right. like you can be lit out here mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying and 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 you know sell a hundred thousand records the life of the, of the project mm-hmm. yeah. tour forever and people understand it mm-hmm. I think it shocked us all when we heard about uh, Wayne having his material devastating of, yeah. right? devastating like, I mean I know from a rapper's perspective y'all have y'all friendly battles or whatever but, yeah. I, yeah, but devastating uh, terrible yeah. nasty mm-hmm. disgusting disgusting yeah he's done much too he's done much too much mm-hmm. for that label mm-hmm. and I'm saying this like I don't you know I ain't tripping like it's, it's whatever to me Mm-hmm. I ain't. I don't got no size or nothing, but that's disgusting for it to even be an issue. In my opinion. In my opinion too. Um, cool. I, but not I. You pop niggas thought I let it fly. Who you talking to right there? Who you talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, yo, yo, bro. You saw, you saw the <laughs> setup, <laughs> bro. You felt it. You felt it. You took his yeah, head, man. And he, he, he warmed you I, right up to you. Nah, he was, he was giving you like, oh, uh, warm He not warming. He not warming me up. But it's like, yo, I'm really <laughs> not here to like <laughs> oh. to get him that. They know what it is. Like, yo, I can't. I can't. I, I can't push your tea, man. I just yeah. like what I, 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 I have. You know. Listen, man. You had to. Push, you had to. You shot like your jumper, said, baby. <laughs> it's good. He just, he just pulled back. He just swayed, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know. Listen, man. Y'all y'all see what it is, man. It is what it is. You mm. pop niggas thought I let it fly. Yeah. I'm Yasiel Puig. I'm in another, another league. league. I defected. Only thing we have in common, niggas bleed. And your thousand dollar joggers as you rhyme about your dollars. Is there shame when a platinum rapper's mother lives in squalor? Wow. Mildred's in the Bahamas for the month. Mildred, she, my mama. Mm-hmm. She probably sitting in her pajamas, having lunch, swordfish. That's my reality is more fish. Mm. Bana- <laughs> banana clips for all you curious, George. Yes. You calling them monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, yeah. Calling the rappers monkeys. That's what it is to That's me. That's racist. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I'm sorry. Okay. Old niggas slapping young niggas. Ha! Mm. Imagine that. Where you from, nigga? <laughs> Well, who? What, what, what the, <laughs> look, man. <laughs> it dude? is what it, it is, is. Swag. Yeah. I don't listen. Is that, I, listen. Is that the, I don't listen. Uh, listen. That, let me just tell you. <laughs> I won't dare. I'm just saying. Old niggas slapping young niggas. Listen. Mm. I won't dare. I don't know. I don't know. But just the rumor of it is too much for my soul. Oh. Diddy Drake. Mm. Right. The rumors of all this is too much for my soul. I don't. I don't. I can't <laughs> live in that. But you work with Diddy. Did he right. mention it? No, no, no. No, okay. Did, did he never talk to me about that? Okay. Okay. But, but you know, just the rumor of, of you know, rap rappers used to be my superheroes. I used to look at these at rappers and be like, man, you know, um, they were indestructible to me. Like, I wanted to rap like them. I wanted to dress like them. I wanted, yeah. to, man, I cut my eyebrows for King, man. Do y'all know that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's crazy. But that I wasn't. I cut my joint. Like, I cut my joint. I put parts in my hair. Mm. Got in trouble. I'm not supposed to have no parts in my head. Right. Mm. Like, I did all this, and I just don't feel that energy anymore, man. I don't mm. feel that energy, like, in, 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 the, in the rap superheroes. I don't, I don't feel like I got no rap, too many rap superheroes to look at, man. Mm. It's, it's, it's just a lot. They and in and, and these scenarios, man, these scenarios that, that we hear about, it's just, it's all too much. Old niggas slapping young niggas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a visual. Sorry. Yo, I love this. Uh, let's play the song and come back and open up the phone lines. Okay. Push your T is here. Crutches, <laughs> crutches, crosses, yeah. caskets. All I see is victims. That's real rap. Crutches, crosses, caskets. Crutches, crosses, caskets. All I see is victims. Real rap, Rich Nice. <laughs> this is real rap. This ain't fake rap. This ain't pretend rap. 
This ain't fabricated rap. Uh. This ain't prevaricated rap. That was a pretty good word right there. This is real rap. Push a T. Appreciate that, man. King Push. Darkest Before Dawn, man. In stores tomorrow. Pre-order it right now, though. Please, go get it. Midnight tonight. It's, it's lit. Everybody can get whatever they want. The video is sacrilegious, Pusher. What you mean? It's a, it's a nun on there. I could have swore she was smoking a, a joint on there. A cigarette. Oh, that was a cigarette? Yep. Oh, okay. Then it's not then. Yep. Uh, you got to see the video to this. Really? I, you, Listen. I couldn't have pictured that you, video. You got to see the so, video and you got to yeah. see the mini movie, man. Yeah. We, we, we shot a mini movie. Shout out to director Kid Art from New York. Kid, again, I've been stalking mm-hmm. online. Love his vi- love his videos. Um, sent him some treatments. You know, found out everything I loved cost about seven hundred dollars. And um, he sent me back a movie script, and was like, "Man, I want to shoot a movie. I want to put this in it, this and that." Sent him a couple more songs. Uh, got like a hundred grand from Hove and Title, and they, um, man. We gave it to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just gave it to the kids and, and tell them, you know, don't let me down. And they didn't. They came through. Y'all got to see this mini movie, man. Where where will it live? On title? Um, it lived on title for a week. Yeah. And now, tonight, you can you don't got to whisper. Bre- okay. It's going to be everywhere tonight. We out here, baby. <laughs> okay. So, so, so tonight. <laughs> he whispered. Yeah, like, he whispered. You, you live on radio. <laughs> the listeners are like, what is he saying in the background? <laughs> yeah, so it'll be um, it'll be out to everybody tonight, man. That's Just, what's up. And yo, you can check it out on demand, too. So are you hitting the road? Cause, uh, we hitting the road okay. Um, in March. In March? Yes. All right. <laughs> you know, I can't keep up with all the dates and stuff. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we hitting the road in March, and um, we just March getting 3rd. it together. Okay, Vancouver. Thank you. All right, wow. we got Christian on the line from Maryland. <laughs> I gotta let these citizens talk to you. They yeah. get mad. Hey. They get mad at me. What's up, guys? What's, what's up, up, Christian? What's up? How you doing? Hey. hey, what's up, Pusher? Hey, what's up, uh, Shade Four Five? How you guys doing? All right, man. What's your question for Pusher T? Oh, I just wanted to know, like, man, I'm a up and coming artist, 15 years old. I've got a passion. I've got fire. And my whole, you know, and I wanted to know, like, does that ever die down when you finally get in the game and you start slaying and killing all these rappers? Oh, man. I, I, nah, it really doesn't, man. It, it really doesn't, man. Um, You know, th- there are times, I mean, I'm not going to sit and act like there are times where, you know, you be a little fed up just, mm-hmm. you know, w- with situations or whatever. But, mm-hmm. you know, you love this, man. I mean, your first things on this line was saying, man, I got passion and fire. Uh. Like. You got everything it takes, and you know you you just keep you know you need to keep um, uh, maturing that and, and and getting it together and um you know just keep putting out that music, man. Spoken like a true music man, mm-hmm. like a president of a label or something. Hey, right? <laughs> what's uh, up? We we have one of your um one of your um artists from Good Music come by the show recently. Dope. Yeah, a uh, member of the Treated Crew. Yes, my man Holt. Holt came by hope and we, hope and we of course i brought you up in the conversation he just did our friday cypher yeah um friday he said it's the last time i'm rapping sway you know when he did the cypher killed it but this is what he said about um the future and working with you so pusha t is the new president of uh good music right <laughs> yes yes so does uh he and yay interject in your music or did they just let you do what you the reason why i signed the good is because those are the most creative people I've ever met in my life yeah. and they care very much about the the artistry and the work that you do and they don't care about like basically they kind of let you do your thing they uh-huh. give you an opportunity to make your art and they don't get in the way of that so wow, it's like all I do is hit them with the emails like yo I'm putting this out Friday they're like dope that's, right? <laughs> that's how it works it, that's definitely how it works man and like I was saying earlier man self contained artists mm-hmm. hope yeah. Self-contained artist. Mm-hmm. Like 100%. I mean, he going to DJ, play guitar. He going to do the whole gamut mm-hmm. and just get it together. What is your ultimate goal? Like, did you and Ye, like, look at, like, labels and their legacy, like a Def Jam or a Bad Boy and decide, man, how do we make good music? We, we got all the ingredients. Yeah. I got the recipe. You <laughs> right. know, it's just a matter of just putting it all in the oven and letting it cook. You know, and how do we make this label as big as we are as artists and... and <laughs> 
Um, y'all, did y'all talk that out, or he just like we, handed we, to you? We didn't, man. Like, yeah. listen, I, I I literally was getting off of a plane, getting in my car. He yeah. was like, man, what you think about being president of Good Music? He was like, man, you got a super good rapport with everybody on mm-hmm. Good. Um, you know, you be having an eye and be knowing what's going on. You know, as far as in the streets and you know on the internet, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, he he just he just, I don't know. Like yeah. I mean, I guess I, I I guess he just felt like I'd be best. Yeah, I'd be best for for the job. Are you where are you gonna live? Like, is it gonna be an office or? An um, I'm gonna be living in Virginia actually. And, and so yeah. you'll run the label from Virginia? Yeah, nice. I mean, I move around anyway. Uh huh. I move around all the time. I'm never home. So that's so interesting. Have you made a first signing yet? No, but I I got I got two good ones that are gonna be so great for the business. <laughs> uh huh. They're gonna be so good for the business. One of the things I like what you're doing right now, you can get me excited, but he ain't going to give a shit, Heather, so he might well change the subject. I already know that. I feel like you're talking to the audience. You know, I feel like you're pulling the the, the, the curtain back. Yeah. You know, and when I'm listening to the lyrics, it's like, this dude is telling so much truth mm-hmm. that I don't think people understand that you're really, this is what's going on. This is how it's working. This is what you're looking at. Right. It might be even oblivious to you, but this shit is right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you feel a need to do that or that's Man, that's the only hip hop I know. Like I only mm. know hip hop that that tells a story. Yeah. Tells the message. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, tells what's going on out here. Mm-hmm. Like that's not a that's 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 not new hip hop to me. That is the that is what hip hop is supposed supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it is supposed to tell the story. It is you are supposed to be a reporter. Yeah. Like that's just what it is. That all all the greats to me were how it, all, the message. It's just broken glass everywhere. Right. Yeah. Period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we saw. People pissing in the station. Come on, <laughs> like yeah. it just okay. is what it is, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, and I feel like um, you know that that's just the only way I really know how to make hip hop. Mm. The acronym MFTR. More famous than rich. Huh. More famous than rich. Yeah, that's yeah. The title for a lot of people right now. I would prefer to be rich <laughs> than famous. Of course. <laughs> but most people prefer to be famous and don't think about riches. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, I, it's where society is right now, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are, are so caught up in, in the fame of things. And, I you know, I guess with, you know, social media and, you know, the whole uh, idea of uh, likes, followers mm-hmm. and things like that. Um Sometimes the 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 business of it or the real uh, tangibleness of it mm-hmm. gets n- gets neglected, mm-hmm. and um, I think it's sad. Like it's 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 terrible. It's terrible because it's happening at a time where people get to be the most independent. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, creatives get to be the most independent mm-hmm. that you know ever. Right. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's. We can't get caught up. We can't get, you know, we have this opportunity right now. Mm-hmm. So we can't get caught up in that in in that um in that mindset. You know, it's it, it doesn't make sense. We're like we're, we'll be working backwards if we do. Mm-hmm. Like we got to take full advantage. All creatives got to take full advantage of you know just what's out here and how you're being noticed. Every 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 corporation, every 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 company that's trying to be progressive they trying to find who's next and before you hit the, you know, before you peak and before you, you know, they trying to find you at a surface level. So it's your time now. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about, because hip hop has become, you know, the globe's genre of choice, you see a lot of blurred lines between like R&B and hip hop. And yeah. there are so many R&B artists who sound like they're trying to spit a 16. Right. And even when they're reported online, they're not even called an R&B artist. Some places like Page Six will call them a rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, who's going to carry the weight of the soul? And as an MC, do you feel like you kind of have to be more territorial when you have all these people crossing the line? Man, I, I try not to worry about the the the, the categorizing of it. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when it's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I you know... um. You mentioned R and B right now. Right now, um, I'm I'm on a bright Bryson Tiller wave. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dope, dope artist. Um, 
damn near spit a 16. Do <laughs> spit a 16, yeah. you know, sing at the same time. But, like, you know, if if they mix it up, meaning those who don't know, yeah, then, you know, as long as it's great, man, I'm I'm just glad that somebody, like, he young, yeah. young, he... Give them something. Give but I give guess, them the give them the light for right. you know. Mm-hmm. So as a businessman, though, <clears throat> if you're looking to sign somebody, right? Be, would you look at it as all right? The wave right now, people do like to see a hybrid of singing and rapping. Yeah. So would you ha- would you sign somebody who caters to that? Yeah. Or would you say if you had someone that's more you know belting out songs, but it doesn't really fit the zeitgeist of today, would you take a choice? Like, how do you make a decision? I mean, my goal is to sign greatness. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like you can be great doing <laughs> both of those things. Um, You know, what I'm doing in rap right now, I mean, you know, as far as, you know, just the sound and everything, I don't think that that's like, uh, that's not the most popular no. choice at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, just, I mean, my album leaked at like six this morning and just the wave of... um. You trended twice. So, you was trending yeah. at the st- <laughs> two two times on the <laughs> the wave of support was you know so great. You know what I'm saying it's like man, we can all live, mm-hmm. right. you know, in these spaces. Like I I ain't, I'm I'm not really trying to deny <clears throat> any um you know any any facet of our of our um art form. So on this project, uh, we're in such uh, tumultuous times in yes. society. You know, when you think of the Black Lives Matter movement, we're thinking about yeah. this mistrial with Freddie Gray and yeah. things that are going on overseas with ISIS. Yeah. Do you address that, any of these things in the album? Yeah, man. I got a record called Sunshine with Jill Scott. Mm-hmm. And Jill Scott, listen, she texted me yesterday at like five in the morning to tell me how upset she was with me hmm. in regards to me performing it without her oh. and not and not knowing. Wow. And, you know, it was just a miscommunication thing. I want to say, Jill Scott, I would want you next to me any and every day possible. <laughs> Damn, that's like a your, proposal. Your... <laughs> right. Why you got to see? Why you got to ruin my. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do DMs. Just... Might as well do it. Why you got to ruin just my <laughs> my sincere <laughs> moment <laughs> apology <laughs> of mishap my that bad, happens push, in the bad. music business? You my just going to ruin it. My bad. Just push. clarifying. Go ahead, man. My bad. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. But, um, yeah, the record is called Sunshine. Shine and it's probably um one of my my more political records to date. Mm. Um, you know when I when I think of when I think of um you know rap records that were like that, you know I look at BDP, mm. I look at um Public Enemy, mm. and it was an it was it was a young aggressive stance, mm-hmm. and I feel like today it's you know there are you know, people who 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 are about the cause or about mm-hmm. that cause, but it's a bit passive for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, uh, I got a record like Sunshine, and it's like, man, I'm just speaking from like a fed up standpoint. I don't got no march in me. I can't turn the other cheek. Why they're testing your patience? They're just testing my reach. Funeral flowers every 28 hours, being laid over hours. You know, sworn to protect and serve, but who really got the power? Looking over their allowances, building prisons where the mountains is. Mm. Laptops is for the county kids. Metal detectors is where ours is. Mm. They'll never rewrite this like they rewrote history. The fact that the Statue of Liberty was black is a goddamn mystery. And so, you know, it's, it's like, man, it's, it's like, it's, Come on, it's just like. Uh, Push your teeth now on the FBI list. <laughs> Yo, somebody said that. Somebody, Listen, somebody said that yesterday. Hey, homie. Yo, but I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you if you had a verse for us. Woo. You, you Pusha, it's uh, the holidays. I mean, it's the holidays, and it's sway. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Pusha. T. You know, give me, give me, give me, give me. Let me slow walk some. What you got? What you got? Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, throw a couple. You can pick your beat. Ah. Uh. Can, can I get some hip hop? More, yeah, more. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some right. slow. Can I get some oh. hip hop? Right. I'm with Sway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta come with it. Do whatever you ever wanted to slow. do. Under- uh. Mm. Check yeah. it. Sway in the uh-huh. morning. Uh. Listen. The only thing missing is seven dwarfs. Funny snow white sprinkled all through my repertoire. Pissing the devil off. So much I shovel off. A nigga ice cold as I'm freezing my bezel off. They hoping I level off. 
escalator climb on you niggas I only speak money, I go mime on you niggas uh. White gloves and a powder face Single edge razor, gym stars on powder plates The winner coupe hibernates Here's where I dominate The longest running trap star Street niggas nominate Over all All the watches get overhauled Bitches get overdog Can't limit the protocol Don't turn your motors off Cause niggas motives are on They say the snake is the closest Remember the motor lawn Rich nigga shit <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, man, I love Go you, get, Pusha T. Listen, man. No, I really love you, bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Because you, you make me do whatever. You know I'm going to do whatever you say, Sway? Sway only love people who going to do what he say. And you got to do what Sway say. So, no, when I come up here, I know what I got to do for Sway. I don't Hello? tap dance much, but I'm a tap for Sway. Thank you, Push. Got to. Thank you. It's for the citizens, man. I, hey, I'll tell you the truth. What up? I use you. It don't matter. I do. It's okay. I need them to hear what it's supposed to sound like. It's there all go. good. Because right. if you don't spit, they don't know what it's what, what it can sound like. You it's all good, How man. good it can be. It's all good, man. We from I the love city. it, man. man. Thank you. Push your teeth, Listen, man. man. King Push. Listen. Darkest Before Dawn. Pre-order it now. Get it tonight. Yeah. Midnight, man. I'm going to see y'all on tour. Love y'all. Love you too. Push it to yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Sway in the morning. We're going to come back. Take your comments on today's show. And we also got Dana. This is her last week, so she, she did a uh, segment. Peace out, Dana. We're going to go into Dana's segment. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.